Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Kemp and today I'd like to read you a special story that I wrote. It is the second story in the Funny Farm series about the amazing animals that live on my farm here in South Africa. This story is The Sheep Family Get Dirty. So let's see what happens. Little Kid Grey was very happy. He knew he was special. He liked that he was grey and his brothers were brown. His brother Kid One was starting to get grey patches like Kid Grey. But Kid Grey knew it didn't matter because he was special on the inside where it counted. One day while Kid Grey was playing butting heads with his brothers, Mrs. Hen came over to visit his mother. Everyone knew Mrs. Hen was a busybody and always told everyone everything that was happening on the farm. Today Mrs. Hen had good news, which she had already told most of the farm. Hello, Mother Goat, said Mrs. Hen. Have you heard the good news? I guess you haven't, because you're always looking after your four kids and never have time for fun. Mrs. Hen always left her chicks with her friend so she could go out and talk to everyone. What happened? Mother Goat asked. Lady Sheep had a baby girl, replied Mrs. Hen. She is called Lady Lamb. Well, that's nice, said Mother Goat. I suppose I should go and congratulate them. Mother Goat was not looking forward to visiting the sheep family. Everyone knew they were the biggest snobs on the farm. They only ate the finest hay and never got dirty. Well, I suppose you should, continued Mrs. Hen, who was very jealous of the sheep family. I went earlier. Lady Lamb looked very pretty. She's going to a special school for rich lambs. Imagine living like the sheep family, having whatever you want and always having the best. I would love it. Actually, said Mother Goat, I'm very happy in my pen. I wouldn't want to live in the sheep family pen. It's always so quiet and boring there. And I would never be able to keep it clean like they do, especially with my messy boys. Well, that, that's all right, dear, said Mrs. Hen, who couldn't understand that someone wouldn't want to be rich and famous. She thought that Mother Goat was a bit weird. But then she would expect that from someone who spent all her time looking after four kids. So Mrs. Hen said goodbye and went off to find someone else she hadn't yet told the news to. Mother Goat for called her four kids to the pen. Lady Sheep has had her baby. It's a girl named Lady Lamb and we're going to visit her to welcome her to the farm, said Mother Goat when the kids had arrived. I want you all to get tidied up. Kid one, you can bath first and kid two, you can bath second. Kid Grey, please brush your coat very nicely so it doesn't stick up. Mom, you know it never lies flat, but I'll try and brush it nicely, said Kid Grey. Thank you, my good kids, said Mother Goat happily, and they all got ready to visit the sheep family. After an hour of getting ready, they set off for the sheep family pen. The kids weren't as tidy as Mother Goat wanted, but she supposed they were boys and never really tidy anyway. They walked past the pig's pen and said hello to Mrs. Pig and all her piglets. Then they walked around the barn and came to the sheep family pen. Now remember to be on your best behavior and do not make a mess or be naughty. Please kids, pleaded Mother Goat. Yes, mom, the four kids answered together. Then they knocked on the sheep family pen's door. Lord Sheep answered. Oh, hello. I suppose you've come to see the baby. Well, I'm afraid she's sleeping at the moment, so it's probably best if you come back later. Lord Sheep was very bored, as he didn't like common poor farm animals, and he was tired of everyone only paying attention to the baby and ignoring him. He was supposed to go into the best part of the field today, but now he had to stay inside and look after the baby, who only cried and slept. So altogether, Lord Sheep was not in a good mood. Oh, all right. Well, please tell Lady Sheep that we send our congratulations and welcome Lady Lamb to the farm, said Mother Goat, who was trying to be very polite because Lord Sheep was so important. Then the goats went home. The next day, Kid Grey was out playing next to the barn. His brothers were all inside the barn waiting for him to find them. While Grey had his eyes closed and was counting to twenty, his brothers tricked him and snuck back into their pen. 
So when Kid Grey finished counting, he couldn't find his brothers anywhere in the barn. He looked and looked. Then he saw the tractor. I know, he said. I bet I could see where they were hiding from, on to from the top of the tractor. So he climbed up and up to the top of the big tractor. Goats definitely like climbing things. He looked all around the barn from the tractor seat, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Kid Grey was very confused. As he turned to climb back down, Kid Grey slipped off. He fell with a big bump to the ground and rolled right into a mud puddle. Now he was very dirty and he knew his mom was going to be cross because she'd asked him to stay clean so they could visit the sheep family later. Mother Goat wanted to give Lady Lamb a blanket she had made for her. Mother Goat was always very kind, even to the snobby sheep family who were never kind to anyone, especially poor goats. Kid Grey decided to go and wash quickly before his mother saw him, so he went to find somewhere to bath where his mother wouldn't see. He was so busy looking for a bath that he didn't look where he was running. He ran straight into Lord Sheep, who had finally gone out of his pen and was looking forward to some, enjoying some fine grass. Now he was covered in mud. And he had just washed and brushed his coat so it shone beautifully. Lord Sheep was very cross with Kid Grey. Look what you did, you silly kid! yelled Lord Sheep. My poor coat! Um, I, I, I'm sorry, Lord Sheep. I didn't mean to do it. I just didn't see you. Please don't tell my mom. Kid Grey knew Mother Goat would be sad and very embarrassed if she found out he had missed Lord Sheep's coat. Listen, you silly grey kid. You have made my coat filthy. I am going to tell your mother. She needs to know that her kid is running around, covered in mud, and messing others' coats, Lord Sheep said angrily. And Lord Sheep went right away and told Mother Goat all about it. Mother Goat was very embarrassed and said she was very, very sorry. Lord Sheep was still cross, though, because now he had to go home and wash instead of eating some juicy grass. So Lord Sheep went home in a very bad mood again. I'm, I'm really, really sorry said Kid Grey quietly. I didn't mean to get muddy or run into Lord Sheep. It's all right, Grey. I believe you, said Mother Goat sadly. I'm just a bit disappointed that you didn't stay clean. I'm not cross with you. Go and have a bath to get clean again. So Kid Grey went to have a bath in the stream. He was feeling miserable because he had made his mother feel sad. His brothers came and said they were sorry for tricking him. Kid Grey forgave them because they didn't do it to be mean, they were just joking. Later, while the goats were having dinner, Mother Goat suddenly realised she had forgotten to give Lady Lamb's blanket to Lord Sheep. I'll take it to the Sheep family pen, said Kid Grey, who was trying very hard to show how sorry he was for everything. All right, said Mother Goat, who realised that Kid Grey was trying to be extra kind. But remember to please be on your best behaviour. So off Kid Grey went to the sheep family pen. When he got there, he saw the door was open, so he went in. He was about to call and see if anyone was home, when a voice startled him. Excuse me, it said, but you should never just walk into someone's house. It's very rude. Kid Grey turned round and saw it was Lady Lamb talking to him. She looked very clean and tidy. Well, well, the door was open, explained Kid Grey. He didn't like being bossed around by a lamb that was younger than him. That's beside the point, continued Lady Lamb snobbishly. And just look at your coat. It isn't even brushed. It's dreadfully rude to visit someone when you look so untidy. Kid Grey had come in a hurry and had gone to brush his coat. That, that's not nice. Besides, even when I brush my coat, it still stands up like this, explained Kid Grey. Well, what do you want? said Lady Lamb rather rudely. I, I brought you a blanket that my mother had made for you, said Kid Grey. Oh, how nice, said Lamb, even though she knew it wasn't as nice as the other blanket she had, which had come from far away. Kid Grey gave her the blanket and she thanked him for it. Then Lord and Lady Sheep walked in. Kid Grey, said Lord Sheep, are you trying to get mud on Lady Lamb too? 
Lord Sheep still had a mud patch near his ear that wouldn't come out. He brought me this blanket from his mother, explained Lady Lamb before Kid Grey could reply. Oh, how sweet. Please thank your mother for us, said Lady Sheep, who was always very polite and actually quite liked Mother Goat, even though she was poor. Then everyone said good night, and Kid Grey went home. It's Lady Sheep. Kid Grey thought it must be very boring to always stay so clean and always worry about getting dirty. The four kids were always getting dirty when they played because it was more fun than trying to stay clean. Except when Mother Goat asked them to not get dirty. Then they tried very hard to stay clean because they loved her much, much more than anything, even playing. They always washed themselves afterwards anyway, so they wouldn't mess up the pen. The next day, Kid Grey decided to try being friendly and visited Lady Lamb. He knew no one else played with her because she was a bit of a snob. When he arrived at the sheep family pen, he discovered they had gone for a walk. He went and looked for them. He found them in the best part of the field, politely eating the finest grass. They all said hello, and Kid Grey asked if Lady Lamb could come and play with the four kids. I don't think that would be a good idea, said Lord Sheep, who knew how rough the kids played. Oh, please, Papa. Begged Lady Lamb. I never get to play with anyone. Mama, I really want to go, please. And Lady Lamb did her best begging face, which she knew her parents could never say no to. Well, said Lady Sheep slowly, I suppose you can go. If you stay clean and don't play too rough. All right, thank you, Mama, said Lady Lamb. Well, their kid Grey wondered if they would have any fun if they spent the whole time trying to stay clean. They went to the barn where Kid Grey's brothers were. They all played hide and seek, although Lady Lamb was always found first because she couldn't hide anywhere that was dirty. Then they played catches. Kid Grey was trying to catch Lady Lamb. She was running very fast and suddenly she tripped. Now she was dirty. Kid 1 and Kid 2, who had been hiding, decided to be naughty and play a joke on Lady Lamb because she had always acted like a snob to them. They got some mud and threw it at Lady Lamb. Her white coat became more brown and muddy. Lady Lamb started to cry. It's all right, Lamb, said Kid Grey soothingly. You can have a nice bath and get all clean again soon. It can be fun sometimes to get dirty. We like getting dirty. And with that, Kid Grey grabbed some mud and threw it at Kid 1 and Kid 2 to get them back for throwing mud at Lady Lamb. Soon they were all throwing mud at each other, including Lady Lamb. In fact, Lady Lamb was the best at this game because she could aim that mud really, really well and made the kids very muddy. Soon it was time to go home for lunch. So they all went and had a bath. They all got clean and Lady Lamb's coat was white again. She was very happy and had had lots of fun. Lady Lamb thanked the kids for letting her play with them. Then she went home to have her lunch. They all said they would come and play again after lunch. After they had all had lunch, sweet grass for Lady Lamb and hay sandwiches for the kids, they met back at the barn for some more fun. They played all sorts of different games, like hopscotch and leapfrog. They were busy making mud pies and mud castles in the mud puddle under the broken pipe when Lord and Lady Sheep arrived. They had decided to go for a walk to find Lady Lamb because it was nearly dinner time. They were shocked when they saw their daughter covered in mud and playing in the mud with the kids. Lady Lamb! Lord and Lady Sheep cried together. Mother Goat heard them and thought something terrible had happened, so she came running. She stopped suddenly when she saw the kids and Lady Lamb in the mud and Lord and Lady Sheep looking on in horror. Oh no, she thought, this is not good. Look what your naughty kids have done to our precious daughter! Lord Sheep yelled at Mother Goat. Papa, don't be mad. I wanted to get dirty. We've been having so much fun in the mud. And besides, we'll all have a bath and clean up when we're finished playing, explained Lady Lamb. So that's why you were so clean at lunch. You had just had a bath, said Lady Sheep, because it had puzzled her how a lamb and four kids could stay so clean while they played. 
Lady Sheep remembered playing with Mother Goat when they were young, before she met Lord Sheep and became rich. They had always gone dirty when they played. But Lord Sheep hated dirt, because his parents had never let him play with dirt when he was young, so he didn't think anyone else should be allowed to get dirty. So Lady Sheep had stopped playing and getting dirty with Mother Goat when she met him. It's fun for them to get dirty sometimes, as long as they remember to clean up afterwards. And remember that you don't always have to get dirty to have fun. Clean games are fun too, said Mother Goat. You know, know that, Lady Sheep, don't you remember? Yes, I do, said Lady Sheep, and I agree. She looked at her husband. Well, I suppose, agreed Lord Sheep, as long as they don't bring the dirt into the house. So from then on, the kids and Lady Lamb played all the time, sometimes getting dirty and sometimes staying clean. The Sheep family tried not to be such snobs, and everyone liked that and became their friends. Mother Goat and Lady Sheep became best friends again, and sometimes even they got a bit dirty. And Mother Goat wasn't embarrassed anymore. Because even though she didn't have as much money as the sheep family, she was happy. And that's all that mattered. Thank you all for listening.